Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is um, a kind of a, a childhood letter, t- especially for me, because I originally played uh, Pokemon Red version, Blue version, Yellow version, and uh, Kanto has drastically changed in these games. There, It's alive, uh, there's Pokemon out about, um, all of these iconic characters that were first introduced in the classic Game Boy games are are here, but they're in this very, they've been remade into sort of a cartoon aspect that it's really, it's just really pretty. And so, um, and it's also where a lot of the iconic uh, mechanics from the core games are present here, but there's also a lot of the Pokemon Go influences in there too. So it's almost like a love letter of what the franchise has turned into, into one yeah. game so it's it's really cool for sure. yeah for, for me also it's, i started with pokemon red and pokemon blue as well and really you know just getting back to this is what i imagined you know kanto region to look like when i was a kid right and of course the venture is really about the pokemon themselves mm-hmm. and every time you whatever pokemon you pick you know it'll be something different from what if Teresa and i trained the same pokemon it'd be something different every time yeah, so. yeah well and pokemon yellow was the first pokemon game that i ever worked on so for me seeing it uh, brought to life and sort of a, this reimagined approach to the game and can- the kanto region and and this uh, story that blends all the characters from the anime is of course very exciting now i i assume that out there watching we probably have a lot of pokemon players um long time pokemon players maybe we have some Smash Brothers players who know the Pokemon from the Smash series but haven't really dabbled in the Pokemon series itself. Maybe we even have a pro Pikachu player who's never played a Pokemon game before. But I think for everybody, there's going to be something here in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee uh, that regardless of your experience with Pokemon or your interest in Pokemon, uh, you're going to find really exciting. So why don't we jump right into the gameplay? Yeah, let's do it. Sure. So we're going to start off here to show uh, Mount Moon. So I had just acquired my first badge, and I'm on my way to uh, get my next one. Um, and I'm making a pit stop right now to through Mount Moon. Uh, so I'm going to kind of showcase here a uh, catching element. So I'm uh, catching Geodude, and you can see that the circle is yellow. So it's a little bit more of a challenge. I'm going to go ahead and use a raspberry to make this a little bit easier for me. Good call. Yeah. And then now the circle is green. So before I can throw, I'm going to hit get ready and then make a throwing motion. Very nice. Thanks. Hopefully I catch it. Oh. Oh. (laughs) All right. He's a little bit sneaky. So why don't I switch over to a great ball, see if that makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to make it time a little bit better. Nope. Nope. But the cool thing is that with the Pokeball Plus, I can hear. There we go. Pokemon you caught. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hear and feel um, the vibrations of the Pokeball Plus as yeah. I'm catching it. And then when I ca- successfully catch it, I hear the Pokemon that comes out there. So um, you'll see that all my interactions turn into multipliers, and that translates to experience points for my entire party. Of course, uh, what you noticed was that the Pokemon appear in the overworld now. You're no longer, it's no longer random encounters. So as you're running around, you're able to know, oh, which Pokemon do I want to catch? Which ones do I want to avoid? Um, and obviously, of course, if you've been a Pokemon Go player um, but haven't really dabbled in the, the core series of RPG games, um, Pokemon Let's Go offers you a great place to come in and really start with sort of that story and adventure that the, the Pokemon series is known for. Right. So you notice here, too, that I have a Butterfree following me. Um, And for the seasoned Pokemon players, they'll they'll know that. In the Pokemon Yellow version, you had Pikachu following you. Mm -hmm. And then Pokemon Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, that was when it started opening up with any Pokemon can start following you. So it's really cool to see that um, any Pokemon that I end up catching can also, I can choose for them to follow me as well. And the nice thing, too, is that um, I'm going to go ahead and run away from this too bad. <laughs> um, the nice thing, too, is that any time that I interact with that Pokemon, I might end up getting a different reaction. So um, I can check out how they're doing um, and interact with them. That's right. So here, um, I got stopgapped here by this character that has found these fossils. And <laughs> he's not willing to share <laughs> So 
Super Nerd Miguel. Super Nerd Miguel. Love it. <laughs> So see, like, my partner Pokemon, um, they never come out of a Pokeball mm -hmm. since we're partners in this adventure. Um, and so they will always come off me. But when I am choosing, I can always choose a different Pokemon that from my party, and those will always come out of a Pokeball. Yeah. So it looks like we've got a, uh, a Pikachu versus a uh, Voltorb battle. Right. So they're both electric type. So that's a little bit of a disadvantage. But... Since Pikachu has a double kick, that might give me the advantage against an electric type. Very nice. That's a good uh, good maneuver there. Thanks. I'm going to stick with double kick. So, of course, the uh, you know when you're encountering the wild Pokemon, um, you're using the new the new capture mechanic, uh, but of course, when you go into these battles, you're still battling against the the trainer's Pokemon. Um, that's going to earn you money as well as uh, also earning you experience points the same way that the uh, the capturing does as well. Correct. And see, Super Nerd my goal is going to call out another Pokemon, but I have an option to switch Pokemon and keep battling. But I'm going to keep using my partner Pokemon here in this in this battle. One thing to note, too, from previous Pokemon games, uh, especially with the trainers in the battle as well, it's very immersive in where the, it takes the Pokemon and the Pokemon trainer to be there to, 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 to interact with each other. Yeah. And regardless that Pikachu was my active Pokemon, he gets the majority of the uh, XP, but... Um, Everybody in my party will also yeah. get experience points. And that's optional. You can turn that off if you want, so that if you, there's specific Pokemon that you want to train up, um, you can turn that off and focus on those Pokemon and really build up their experience and level them up as well. Right, Terry? Right. That's correct. Yeah, so definitely with experience share, either you know, there's different strategies. Either you want, you want to level up your team equally, or if you want to focus on specifically on one Pokemon, definitely that's a way to, way to turn it off, so you can focus on that. So Super Nerd Miguel has allowed me to take an option of either fossil. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Helix fossil. And for the, again, seasoned Pokemon fans might know what these items attribute to. But for new fans that don't know, I uh, can't wait. I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. So definitely, once you get your hand on trying, you can't go wrong. Either option is really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to make my way out of Mount Moon. You're going to try to. <laughs> I got stopped by, oh. Who could it be? Team Rocket. Jesse and James. Jesse oh. and James. Uh, of course, one of the great things about uh, Pokemon <laughs> Let's Go is the way that it incorporates the characters from the anime into the story, which you don't see with uh, the other mainline Pokemon games. Um, I've always been a big fan of, of Jesse and James, especially, uh, I mean, look at it. He's <laughs> just loving that rose that right there. <laughs> <laughs> In the teeth. He's very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a uh, double battle? Yeah, exactly. So since Jesse and James have pretty much ganged up on me to battle, um, it wouldn't be fair if I was just restricted to one Pokemon to battle. So I have the advantage of calling out two. So turn-based strategies still apply. Um, I take turns in using um, choosing my my maneuvers. I'm going to use Sleep Powder on Ekans. And um, the other cool thing that I forgot to mention is that with Pokeball Plus, mm -hmm. the active Pokemon, I could also feel the interactions that they not only act on, but also that they receive from their opponents. Yeah. The other nice thing about Pokeball Plus is just the, the feel of the exterior of the Pokeball. It's, it's just got this great tactile nature to it that's uh, feels really good. Yeah. I think once you get your hands on it, you're gonna. Everybody's just gonna be like, "Wow, this is awesome." So yeah. that was my impression when I first saw it. Yeah, it's definitely very comfortable. In your yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's pretty cool, and the the control stick is movable as well as uh, clickable. So yeah. that's how I select my options. And then there's a button on the top here that will allow me to open the menu, but also back out through. So I'm gonna go ahead and use. Looks like your sleep powder was pretty effective. Yay! It <laughs> gave me an advantage. Sorry, James. 
Oh. Jesse, you're next. <laughs> I didn't realize how big Butterfree is compared to, in size wise, compared to Pikachu. Yeah, that's the other really neat thing that the Pokemon are true to scale. Um, so when you're roaming around in the wild, you'll start seeing these pretty massive sized Pokemon start yep. appearing and, uh, and compared to the smaller type, too. And I'm going to go for the finishing move. All right. All right. Let's see. Still asleep. He didn't wake up. <laughs> so oh. close. Oh, oh there <laughs> you go. He's up. He's up. <laughs> no. Oh. Ouch. All right. Well. I'm going to use... I don't think... Butterfree will have the last laugh. I think it's going to be Pikachu, but that's okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. Sorry, Ekans. <laughs> Good night. Not sorry. <laughs> you defeated Team Rocket. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> so I love James's reaction. <laughs> You're so He's defeated. Like, what? And it looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Yep. <laughs> so you'll notice also at the bottom um, left corner, there's an icon now that my partner Pokemon is calling my attention. So with the Pokeball Plus, I'm just going to shake it. <laughs> 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 and Pikachu is completely <laughs> exasperated about what just happened. Um, so this uh, menu here, I can uh, play with my partner. So you can see the little hand here that I can interact with my partner here can rub his belly. And this is where I build a stronger relationship with my partner. Um, some players might be worried about like really fast motions, but as you can see that, I'm like reacting really, fa oh, <laughs> really maybe fast. Maybe Pikachu didn't like that as yeah, much. Yeah, <laughs> so it's really dependent on where the spots you, you touch. So it's like, if I poke Pikachu, say in the nose, oh. he like spots <laughs> at me because he's not happy at all. So, oh, I'm sorry. So I'll give him a berry because I already put him through enough torture. <laughs> I'm gonna there you go, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, it's, this is a really, really neat feature because I know um, in past games, I think it was uh, Pokemon X and Y where mm -hmm. we had Pokemon and me, you were able to interact with uh, your, your Pokemon. Yep. And so it's really awesome to see that nod here in this game as well. Yeah. It seems like it's in real time, too, because Pikachu's on your shoulder, and then there's a Zubat right there, right where you're actually standing in the game as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's it for Mount Moon. We're actually going to swap right. to go, well, fast travel to yep. the next area, which will be uh, Saladin City. And, of course, that being our first look at Mount Moon, and this is, I think, going to be our first look at Celadon City as well. It is on a Treehouse Live segment. That's that is right. correct. And, of course, now we're switching to... Uh, Team Eevee, uh, the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee version. My, my preferred team. <laughs> That's right. Sorry. I Sorry, Terry. I see why. <laughs> I was Team Pikachu for the Smash <laughs> Brothers segment, but I'm Team Eevee for <laughs> Pokemon Let's Go. <laughs> All right. So we're right in front of uh, the Pokemon Center in Celadon City. And you might have noticed in previous one, we had Pikachu as our partner. They he rode on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, Eevee will be riding on your head instead. So we're gonna go inside, and we'll see uh, Nurse Joy and Chansey kind of here greeting us. Um, so this is gonna be a new reveal. So I'm gonna go over here to the right. Um, this fine gentleman over here can teach your partner Pokemon exclusive moves, and those are new moves to the game. Mm -hmm. um, and they're they're curated to each partner. So um, Eevee will have certain moves that it can learn, and then Pikachu will have other moves that they can learn as well. And yes, I do want to learn a mar marvelous move. So you can see all of these all of these moves have some really fancy names. I mean, fancy names that go with a fancy outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of want to pick Sizzly Slide. Not Batty Bad? I mean, Batty Bad double. sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> no, I want Sizzly Slide because <laughs> it sounds fun and fiery and I want it. Okay. <laughs> and uh, 
So because you can only have four moves, um, I'm going to pick out a move to replace. So, And you'll notice that you know it's a fire type. And usually, fire type moves for Eevee could only be learned with its evolution. But with my partner Pokemon, I have this opportunity to teach um, these exclusive moves, which are really cool. Yeah. And there you go. Yeah. Now, are you going to show us this move? I will, but not yet. So okay. we'll come back to this in a <laughs> bit. So I'm going to go out to the opposite side of the Pokemon Center, and this is also a brand new reveal. So this here, remember in past games how difficult it was to find a Pokemon with a specific nature that you really wanted to? Yes, okay. hours of hunting. <laughs> All right. So this, for the very first time, the player has the ability to control that for any future Pokemon that they encounter. So meet Madame Celadon. She can um, set the specific nature that you would like to look for for a certain amount of time. She is going to charge you for it, though. That's right. Yes, she will, which, you know, at a cost for any Pokemon nature that I specifically want, it's, I think it's, it's warranted. Yeah. I, yeah. It's, it might be worth it, too. Yeah, exactly. It's definitely worth it. Um, so she'll ask a bunch of questions for in order for you to set it. So the first one is, uh, which flower do you want to water? So this is dependent on what stat that I want to increase. And I'm going to go ahead and pick red. And for seasoned Pokemon fans, you might know what, um, what that means. Uh, but for new players that don't necessarily know, this is a chance for you to experiment and mm -hmm. figure out what you want um, and then try out different things and figure out how it suits your play style. Yeah. And so the next question she's going to ask is, which one do you, flower do you want to thin out? So this is what stat do you want to decrease? Yeah. So if I picked red, there wouldn't be any change. So I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to try yellow. And then she's going to go do her, her magic. Nature is so flabwa. <laughs> the little Abra is so cute. A lonely nature. So now any Pokemon that I encounter will have that lonely nature. Mm -hmm. And that lasts for how long? It lasts for quite a while. Um, yeah. But again, I don't want to spoil it. Yep. I want fans sure. to ex experiment. Um, so yeah. So now that we've kind of gone through that, I want to show everybody a sneak peek of the Celadon department store. Well, we're going to take a look at some natures and stats and things like that first. Oh yeah, that's that's a great point. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go here to um, our party. And you'll see here that I have three Vulpixes. So I'm going to select this one and check the summary. So you see right now on the very top that the nature is relaxed. Mm -hmm. um, and then I open up and there's a bit of a breakdown there of all the different stats. Yep. Uh, so you'll see uh, defense and speed have different colors and that's dependent on what your s stats are decreased and increased. Mm -hmm. um, so if I back and then you'll see here this Vulpix, it's hasty nature. And you'll see the stats have changed here. Mm -hmm. So the speed is increased and the defense and de is mm -hmm. decreased. Um, um, and then another really cool feature, so this is a brand new reveal. You'll see at the bottom here screen, there's the judge function. Yep. So if I go back to this relaxed Vulpix and I shake it, now you'll see the breakdown of the stats in a different manner. So you'll see that it's good, okay, 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 okay. And then there's a stamp at the top right corner. So this is quite similar to top almost- Top left corner. Yeah, top left corner, sorry. <laughs> 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 a little bit dyslexic this morning. Um, and you'll see the next Vulpix, which was the ha Hasty Nature one, also has okay stats. But I have a third Vulpix that has amazing stats. And you can see uh, the breakdown of all that. Um, so the judge function is something that gets acquired into the game. Mm -hmm. um, you'll have to meet a certain condition to get it. Um, and it's quite similar to the Pokemon Go appraisal feature. So this makes it a little bit easier of you judging what kind of Pokemon you want. Yeah. And then, of course, when you couple the natures with this and the fact that the Pokemon are appearing in the overworld rather than random battles, um, if you're really trying to you know, build up the perfect team with the specific Pokemon that you're after, I think all these features really combine to make this kind of ideal for those core Pokemon fans that are really trying to get that perfect team together. Yeah. For sure. All right. 
So I'm going to now make my way to sell it on a department store. I know how you were always eager to go to the department I store. Am. but <laughs> Shop the time. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go up the stairs yep. to the first floor, which has a lot of other characters lingering in around that are also shopping. Mm -hmm. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> and you'll see that there's all these really cool iconic posters of Pokemon related content. And then you have the two vendors. So um, I'm going to go ahead and buy some things. And you'll see that right now I only have Pokeballs and Great Balls to choose from and some other items. But all of these can be, these items will expand as I progress through um, the game. So definitely want to come back here and see what inventory has opened up. So then this is a great area to to buy uh, items in order to help in my adventure. So I'm yeah. going to go ahead and buy some few things here. Oop, I am good. Thank you, sir. Now I'm going to go upstairs and see what else is on the other floors. Oh, this is cool. Oh, it's the video game floor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what are these guys doing? <laughs> well, trade me a Kangaskhan for my Haunter. That's a good trade right there. <laughs> huh? Oh. Oh, that that's neat. Yeah. That was a good be. trade. <laughs> 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 that's really cool. So I love this floor because of all the little nods of like how um, it's a game center. There's all these ads to um, to just Different playing games. video games. Yeah. yeah, and there's actually a few posters here. Can you recognize uh, that, Bill? Do you know what that that's a nod to? That looks like Pokemon Quest. Ah, yeah. nice. Well done. <laughs> you passed. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the elevator this time because I'm tired of walking up the stairs. And we're gonna go to the fifth floor, which is the accessory market. So this area is a really cool place for you to get more accessories for your partner Pokemon. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get, let's see, I got a little red bow. And then, let's see, what else can I get? I got some flowers. Why not? Get some pink flowers. And then I'm also going to go, oh, there's more here. Oh. Right. I'm looking for glasses. I got some thick glasses. Those sound pretty cute. Yeah. Mm. All right. So now that I've got all these different accessories, I want to jump back into the menu and go into the bag. And then there's this um, option here called clothing trunk. Yep. So here is where I can customize my partner Pokemon as well as my Pokemon trainer. And uh, outfits will will appear as you um, progress through the game mm -hmm. and interact with the world. And uh, we just got some new accessories. So why don't we go ahead and go into... Actually, I'll ask Terry. Terry, how do you want to customize my Eevee? Get those glasses. Glasses? The thick glasses. Yeah. All right, so I got oh some swirly glasses. glasses. <laughs> so let's see. Should I put on some accessories too? You got a bow in there as well? All right, you want to do the bow or the yeah. flowers? It's a little red bow. Okay. And now I get to choose how I want to put it on. So ears, chest, uh, back, or tail. I'll leave that to you, Bill. Uh, you got to go chest. I mean, look at how classy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I will put Eevee to be the classiest partner Pokemon I've ever had. Um, so I'm going to switch over to Elaine really quickly, too. And just to show that um, I can... So there's all these different outfits, but I can mix and match. So I don't have to choose a specific like uh, look. I can just say, I, you know what? I want to keep those those uh, beach shorts there, and then I'm going to switch my bag to the sailor bag. Mm. And I can do the exact same thing with Eevee, too. Um, I can also swap out and put maybe, maybe a hat? Yeah, why don't we put a hat? We got matching outfits now. Yeah, now we got a matching hat. <laughs> There you go. So this is really, really cool, too, because I think uh, customization became an option in the Pokemon franchise or originally in, was it Pokemon X and X Y? X and Y, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really neat to see that um, kind of appear here as well, but evolved in a, in a way that you can 
do it for your partner Pokemon and your Pokemon trainer. Yeah. So, yeah. I think I'm, I'm done. My, my shopping vice <laughs> is, is complete. I'm, I'm going to exit out of the store before I spend any more money. Oh, wait. Oh. Now, but you you promised me that you were going to show me Evie's new exclusive move. All so right. Yes, I All will. Right. I promised. I promised okay. I would. So <laughs> I, I'm Gotta definitely going to go promise. through it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when I make promises to Bill, I can't break them. That's right. I bring them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. That's why you're live sitting over there. See if he can shoot. So you'll see here that I'm kind of stopped here because there's a tree in the middle. Um, so again, my partner Pokemon can learn these secret techniques, which we mm -hmm. announced a, a while ago. Um, and so this is the way, one of the great ways for me to navigate and open up new areas in the yeah. world. So it's incredibly useful. And then there's this gentleman looking through the windows. And oh this yeah. is the Celadon City Pokemon Gym. And Erica is the gym leader. So why don't we go ahead and enter? And there she is. Oh, yeah. Oh, this place is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so vibrant. Right? Oh. Oh, oh. Wow. Challenged me immediately. All right. And she has cute Pokemon, too. She so does. All right, so this is my chance to show okay. you the, my really cool move that I just learned. Oh, Oddish. You're not going to fare well. So I have, obviously, Sizzly Side is a fire type move, and Oddish is a grass type, grass Pokemon, type Pokemon. So this is not going to go very well for him. But I just want to really show how awesome Eevee looks. <laughs> it does that. <laughs> With its hat and glasses right? and red bow tie. Very stylish. <laughs> extra, extra swag. So, yeah. Um, so there you go. That's that's a little sneak peek of what Eevee can do with its very cool exclusive move. So Great. Um, that's all we have for this segment, but I want to show one more thing. Okay. So we're going to go on to revisit Go Park Complex. Oh, yeah. We showed a little bit of Go Park um, at E3 on Nintendo Treehouse Live. That's right. Um, and, of course, Go Park, when you are playing on Pokemon Go and capturing your Pokemon there, you can transfer your Kanto Pokemon over to Pokemon Let's Go. And when you do that, they appear in Go Park. Mm -hmm. um, but you're going to show us a different feature of Go Park. Normally you would go in and capture those Pokemon and then you could use them in Pokemon Let's Go, uh, but you're gonna show us something a little bit different. That's right, so this is a first reveal as well to, um, to the public out there um, at, in Playwise that we announced, or it was announced the uh, Play Yard, mm -hmm. where when you get a certain amount of uh, Pokemon transferred from Pokemon Go into the game, you're able to play these little mini games with them. You, However, you'll see that all of these are pretty much gray out. But this one, because I have 28, I've met the requirements to do play art. So you need a minimum of 25 Pokemon in mm -hmm. order to start a mini game here. So once I have 28, I'm gonna go ahead and enter. And so the goal of play art is to essentially corral all of the Pokemon that was in that room, so 28. Meltan here, so you can see that they're incredibly tiny and really cute. They're so adorable. Um, so I have to corral as many as I can within the time oh. limit. Oh. Uh, that Diglett just popped up out of the ground. Yeah, so regardless that I try to corral as many as I can, um, there are other Pokemon in the play yard that would, will scare them away. Uh, oh, they all just out. got scared <laughs> away. <laughs> Right on. Right on. Um, <laughs> <and onyx. laughs> but you'll also notice that because Meltan is so tiny and really cute. Oh, no. Oh. I do not no. want you to. So basically, Stop you're it. just trying to <laughs> get within line of sight of Meltan uh, to kind of capture their attention and, and corral them. Um, and then you've got to try to keep your corralled Meltan away from these other Pokemon in the play yard. Correct. And the more that I collect and try to get to the goal, the more points that I'll get. The but as you can see, Meltan, because he's so tiny, he's got really small legs, so it's really hard to get them. So if I go really fast, you'll start seeing that he like has these little sweat drops on his head. 
that means that he's falling behind and yeah. he's just going to lose focus on coming with me. Yeah. And you can see that some of these Pokemon Pokemon are really fast and trying to um, like ah prevent you. Yeah, yeah. they're preventing me from catch catching Meltan, so it's really hard. I'm like trying to focus and make sure that. Ah, the other I thing I should note is that the, there is a timer counting down, um, so you have to try to catch all of these Pokemon in the yard within that time limit. Right. So I have three goals: either I can catch all of them within the time limit. <sighs> I just, they just oh. seem to hone right in Sand on your... Slash. Yeah, <laughs> whenever they're grouped up like that together, they're just like, nope, not having it. So, yeah, as you mentioned, Bill, I have the time limit of either three or trying to get them all as quickly as I can. You got right. one minute left. You do it. Okay, I got this one. Come on, little buddy. Come on, come with me. No. Now, of course, Meltan is a brand new Pokemon uh, that was just announced, and the only way to get Meltan is uh, by connecting Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go. Correct. Uh, so Meltan is the newly discovered mythical Pokemon from the Kanto region, um, and it is also the uh, first mythical Pokemon that has an evolution, which is really, really cool. We just announced that last week. And uh, these little guys are are what, um, as you mentioned, that you need Pokemon Go in order to get them into the game. And how it works is that there's, when you make a transfer at least once a week, you'll get a mystery box, yeah. which acts as a lure in Pokemon Go. And that'll give you about 30 minutes to try to catch as many Melton as you possibly can. Come on. <gasps> is this the last one? Oh, yes! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Less than two seconds to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice job. Thanks. So oh. you completed the mini game. Um, obviously, you didn't get very many points. Yeah. <laughs> if I had more time and I also did more combos with more Meltan into the goal, I would have gotten more points. Mm -hmm. um, but regardless, I still got a reward for completing, which yep. is all that I care about at this point. There we point. go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to, to finish what we were saying about yeah. about Meltan, it's you can transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go. And if you do that once a week, you will get a the lure that mystery attracts. Box, you get a mystery box, and then you're able to get the lure that attracts the Meltan. And of course, within that, the, the time that the lure is active, you want to try to capture as many Meltan as you can. Uh, right. Right. And then you're only able to get those mystery boxes at least once a week. So regardless of how much you trade um, with, with between Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pokemon Go, you can still only get it once a week. Mm -hmm. But that right. lure box is really handy in order for you to get as many Meltan as you possibly yeah. can because... Ultimately, we, you'll yeah. transfer Meltan to the professor so the professor can continue his research and in exchange you will get candies back and you'll use the candies then to evolve Meltan yeah, into so Melmetal. Exactly. So you need at least 400 candy in order to evolve um, to evolve Meltan into Melmetal, and yeah, then yeah. you can you can s uh, keep them in Pokemon Go, but you could also have them and bring them on in the adventure in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Yeah, and they both Pokemon have really cool moves, um, and I, I can't wait to see them in the yeah. full game. Yep. Of course, you can also transfer your shiny Pokemon from Pokemon Go. You can transfer the Alolan forms from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Let's Go. Um, so the connect the connectivity between the two is really great. Yeah, for sure. It, it definitely brings this like fun ecosystem of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, Go Pokemon Go, and then also the yep. Pokeball Plus, which is a really cool way to play. So now we're back in Go Park. Yes. So yeah. I, I want to show like all these different Pokemon that are that are pretty much mingling. These are all the Pokemon that I originally had in Pokemon Go, and yep. I've uh, sent them over here. But I could also have friends send them to me. So regardless right. of how many Pokemon Go accounts connect with the games, I can send as many Pokemon here as I want to. Yeah. And you'll see that I've caught a few Meltan now, and I Quite can. Quite a few. Yeah. So. As you had mentioned, Bill, mm -hmm. once I send them over, I will still have to catch them in order to accumulate them in my party and then yeah. be able to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and catch Meltan here. And he's so cute. And he's a bit of a difficult catch because it's a, a red. All right, I'm going to use, let's see, another raspberry. Yep. 
Oh, um, before I do that. You might need another Pokeball. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Great Ball. Yeah. All right, here we go. And timing. Great. Nice. Thanks. Great throw with the Great Ball. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't plan that. Oh. I didn't plan that at all. Perfect. Yeah, so I got I got Meltan <laughs> in my party. And he even did a little sound, too, out of the yeah. Pokeball Plus, so that was really cute. Yeah. And yeah, that's... Awesome. So we've got, uh, I think, one last thing that we wanted to show everybody today. Um, of course, everybody saw the Super Smash Brothers hardware earlier, so I thought it would only be fair to also showcase the special uh, Let's Go Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee hardware. That's so cute. Yeah, you can see a great design on the um, here on the dock. Uh, you've got the different colored Joy-Con, and there's even some very, very subtle... Uh, yeah. Cool designs on the back, awesome. uh, s showcasing the silhouettes of the characters and Pokeballs. 